I firmly believe that a training scene can improve pretty much any film or TV series. Pride and Prejudice would have been 10 times better with a good training scene. When done right, a training scene or montage can be incredibly motivating. We see our favourite on-screen heroes go through gruelling regimes that test them mentally and physically, and that push them to superhuman heights. We get inventive new training ideas, and pretty much an entire character arc or hero's journey crammed into a few minutes of sweating and grunting. Very often this is combined with a rocking soundtrack and a superhero worthy physique, and the result is a perfect shot of inspiration that's more effective than any pre-workout when it comes to getting pumped. With that in mind, let's break down some of the best training scenes in movies, TV and anime, and look at what makes each one of them so great. Rocky Balboa. You're going to be seeing a lot of the Rocky films appearing on this list, and that's exactly as it should be. The training scene in Rocky Balboa is short, and it might not be an instant classic, but the reason I love this one personally is that it shows us that at his ripe old age, Rocky and Stallone have still got it. Seeing him train his way out of old age and retirement to overcome even greater odds than usual is epic and incredibly moving. I love it when we see a hero broken down and taken to their lowest ebb like this, only to then train and come back just as strong as they were before. It's triumphant, and the slow burn nature of the film up to that point makes it all the sweeter. As for the training methods themselves, they start a lot more gentle befitting his older age, but soon escalate to much more modern methods like hammering at tyres, squatting and swinging kettlebells. And it all ends of course with another iconic run up the stairs, this time with a little dog in tow. Let's start building some hurting bombs. The Matrix. The first Matrix film was incredible for so many reasons. This is one of the films that got me into martial arts and this scene is one of the big reasons why. It's pretty different too. Neo actually learns his kung fu in an instant via a plug on the back of his head. They don't have Bluetooth in the Matrix apparently. And so instead, it's his ability to let go of his mental restraints that's being tested and trained here. Cue an awesome fight scene between superhuman martial artists directed by the legendary Yun Wu Ping. There's incredible music, just the right amount of wire work, and it's just a motivating and awesome scene in general. Drunken Master. Drunken Master is one of the classic films that launched Jackie Chan's career, and it happens to showcase some of the most creative and awesome training methods put on film. From balancing on large buckets whilst filling them up with water, to being controlled like a puppet and crushing nuts with his hands. He performs some pretty wicked hanging sit-ups too. And it all ends with Jackie Chan's demonstration of the drunken fighting style. Jackie's films from this era were often filmed with long scenes of him practicing martial arts forms, and it's a testament to his sheer physicality that this was so entertaining. Arrow. I really think there should have been more superhero training scenes on this list. As it is, there aren't as many as you might think, though honourable mention goes to Batman Begins. The training in the Arrow series almost makes up for that though. Stephen Amell is in incredible shape and he appears to do this kind of training for real, which makes it that much more authentic. It began with the classic salmon ladder scene and he's been outdoing himself with inventive body weight and functional training since then. Amell is so badass that he even took part in American Ninja Warrior and performed really well in it. Want to learn more about training like Stephen Amell and Arrow? Well then check out the full video on the subject on this very channel. Kickboxer. Jean-Claude Van Damme took a pretty decent stab at the training scene with both Bloodsport and Kickboxer. While the films are pretty similar, Kickboxer has the more impressive montage, showcasing Jean-Claude's insane flexibility and high kicking ability. Highlights also include roundhouse kicks performed underwater, torturous leg stretching devices and repeated shin kicks against bamboo trees, a real training method used by Mai Tai Kickboxers. I'm okay. Snake in the Eagle's Shadow. While Drunken Master is undoubtedly better known, Snake in the Eagle's Shadow is actually my favourite classic Jackie Chan Kung Fu movie. It features just as many awesome inventive training moments, more bowls of water and eggs, a crazy good V-sit, more actual martial arts and less gurning. I'm a huge fan of this film in general and it's one of the reasons I started training in martial arts. That and the interest of my step granddad who had me doing all kinds of similar things when I was a teen from snatching coins from my own forearms to doing sit-ups with sticks behind my head. I had to lift buckets of water on my fingers. In other words, I can relate. Yet for a few years there, I was pretty much living in an anime, which I was totally cool with, obviously. Mulan. One of the things you'll notice in many of these scenes is just how awesome the music often is. 
Donny Osmond's I'll Make a Man Out of You from Milan has to take the cake here. Fun fact, Jackie Chan actually sung a Cantonese version of this song. The animation is great and it's an uplifting scene where Mulan is not only developing the strength and speed she needs, but also winning the respect of her colleagues. A shout out to Hercules here as well, which takes a lot of inspiration from Rocky and Superman actually. That's a pretty cool combination. Rocky 3. This scene from the Rocky franchise is iconic for all sorts of reasons. Stallone was in absolutely incredible shape at the time, Apollo proved to be an awesome training buddy slash coach, and of course there's the ridiculous ending where they leap around in the sea hugging. And the crop top. Only in the 80s. The bulk of the training actually focuses a lot on Stallone's speed, rhythm and footwork this time, which makes it a bit different. Along with overcoming the fear that's holding him back with a little help and encouragement from Adrian. Never Back Down. Never Back Down is a cheesy movie that's kind of like a combination between high school musical and martial arts. But it's actually pretty awesome. The training montage especially so. The soft rock false pretense fits the training scenes perfectly and there are some creative training methods on display here, such as using a ladder for monkey bars, kettlebell juggling and throwing bricks around. The foot race on the docks is also very similar to the scene from Rocky 3, so props for showing some respect there. Dragon Ball Z. Goku trains in increased gravity. Dragon Ball Z is packed with awesome training scenes and methods, from chasing monkeys to training in the hyperbolic time chamber to enduring huge gravitational forces. Some of the most memorable training scenes though are during Goku's trip to Planet Namek where he trains to fight Frieza. It culminates in the gravity machine breaking and forcing Goku to go beyond his limits just to survive. Props for turning a training scene into an entire storyline here. Once all is said and done, Goku arrives on Namek and takes apart the Ginyu Force in one of the coolest scenes in the series. And yes, I've heard your requests, I'll be doing a video on weighted calisthenics very soon. <laughs> Vegeta trains for Super Saiyan. While Goku did it first, Vegeta did it better. First we get to see him go Super Saiyan for the first time, along with the awesome Vegeta Super Saiyan theme. Let me see a far more intense version of the gravity training, complete with incredible art and animation. He goes on to train on the desolate planet and pushes himself to the point of near death. Training doesn't get much more badass than that, and the scene features some of Vegeta's best lines too. I decided to continue my training in the solitude of space. I wish I had the kind of life where I could say I decided to continue my training in the solitude of space and people wouldn't laugh at me. The Karate Kid. The modern version that is. Look, the original has to be one of the most well-known training scenes of all time, but that said, the newer version has Jackie Chan in it, and sweeping shots of the Great Wall of China, and Jaden Smith dodging tennis balls. And let's be honest, the crane kick from the original scene is just ridiculous. This film is filled with plenty of other small training moments too, tributes to the original film and a great piece of music from Fort Minor. This film was better than it had any right to be. I wish Jackie Chan would train me. Kung Fu lives in everything we do Xiao Zhui. He lives in how we put on the jacket, how we take off the jacket. And lives in how we treat people. Everything is Kung Fu. Baki the Grappler. Baki the Grappler has some great training and fight scenes, but episodes 3 and 4, where Baki goes to train with Ando, have to take the cake. Baki is training in the wilderness, climbing cliffs, kicking trees, and running with boulders strapped to his back, which is always a hit. What really sets this apart is the explanation behind how Baki pushes himself beyond normal human limits, which is based very loosely on real science. He learns to override his pain barrier by releasing endorphins, and to access heightened reflexes by tapping into his near-death focus, essentially a flow state. And it all ends with him fighting a massive ape, which is pretty hardcore. And of course we can't forget the film that started it all, the original Rocky film. This has got a ton of iconic training concepts and ideas, 
from chasing chickens around to running up the steps in Philadelphia. The music from Bill Conti has to be the training music to end all training music. And if it wasn't for this film, we wouldn't have training montages like we do today. The whole thing is incredibly triumphant and it's just a fantastic, classic scene by any movie standards. Rocky IV. This has to be among my most watched film scenes of all time, and it really is the pinnacle of all training montages. We have in fact two back-to-back -back montages here, with music from the excellent Survivor and Vance DiCola of Transformers the Movie fame, respectively. The contrast between Drago's modern high-tech training setup and Rocky's back-to-basics log cabin workout make for a great visual metaphor, and there are tons of awesome feats of strength and inventive training methods on display here. Highlights include Stallone's shoulder pressing a carriage full of people, performing Bruce Lee's dragon flag, and pulling a sledge. The climax, which features Stallone roaring his opponent's name from on top of a mountain, is about as iconic as it gets. So that's a pretty great way to end this video too.